there, folks. It's 1.40 p.m. Monday, February 5th, 2017. Let's get the zoom on this one. I want you to see the date. I don't mean something later. It doesn't need to so much. Now let's see where you can... There, it'll work. Get rid of that zoom before I break the lens. Um, here we go. The uh, I was uh, I'm making some headway on the uh, that third book. <clears throat> uh, that's not what this is about, but. Um, And uh, when I write in the book early in the morning, I'm relaxing, and the more this body physically, you know, dies, falls apart, um, the more I come out when, where I do, it's right where the part of me comes out that makes the field. Um, When I relax and that part of me is floating out, I just see a whole lot more. Uh, I say things now than than I better uh, better than I ever have before. <coughs> Can't talk as good, but I, this thing is uh, really good. But also uh, being right there with a the field. Uh, mind she comes out and is the, makes the feel that uh, I'm seeing, I'm aware of more stuff happening in the field. And uh, yesterday, for a little while, I was talking with uh, a piece of me that was uh, here in the second age. It's a very long time ago. Um, and uh, on the Hawaiian uh, island of Oahu. Uh, it was a lot bigger then, but uh, the name, my name, that the name of that life was like a Paolo, something like that. It's hard to, it's hard to, um, for me to say. And you know, being born in the U.S. this life, anyway. Uh, uh, I started talking with him a little bit. And he had mentioned something, and I just looked. I kicked back and looked at the area around Hawaii. I've talked about the Anunnaki. Um, about how basically, as a race, they're really cool. You, you know, you just have buttheads. Uh, you have butthead Anunnaki's like you do anything else. But because they're so aggressive and so powerful, physically powerful, um... Uh, they can be a handful, you know, they can cause a lot of problems. And now that they're not in control, they've been taken away. Uh, there's, I was seeing something going on out around Hawaii. Because I, I relaxed, I went into the water, I, I go into the stone and everything else, and I see myself down there. Uh, the part of me that was Paolo. Uh, I'm not saying it right. Anyway, uh, uh, and then... Uh, I was seeing Anunnaki going around in some kind of trade center where they're trading with some of the other races that are here on the planet. Uh, it's all underwater. Uh, nothing's above the water. And then there was a, um, there's another a small trade center uh, that's opened up. <clears throat> if you go to uh, Google... And you go into the North Atlantic Ocean, uh, where Greenland, uh, the island of Greenland is, continent, whatever Greenland is, um, the southeastern section. If you go from there and uh, draw a line to uh, uh, about Ireland, that, a, a bit to the left of that, but close to Greenland, uh, is where another trade center's opened up. It's the Anunnaki that have been here forever. And they're trading with the other um, 
folks that are here on the planet and supplies and stuff are being brought in. Folks, we've had other people living here. The Naantids were the first to colonize this planet, the Earth, a long time ago. But there's other folks down there and they're getting supplies, aid, um, some of the materials that are being taken from, um, uh, picked up, removed from the earth and picked up at the uh, uh, East City Ranch are going to some of these trade centers, taking care of some of the people still living here. When the problematic Anunnaki were removed and taken out of power, um, it made a big vacuum in many ways, but one of them was you know, these people that are living here that have been cool, they're our neighbors, they have to live. They have to eat. They need supplies. Um, so anyway, uh, there's some more trade centers uh, already starting to function, but the one in Hawaii is real strong, and then the one in Greenland is real strong. There'll be more coming off. Um, there's one that's going to be opening up in the northeastern coast of uh, uh, Canada. Uh, right now, it's basically everything that's in the water. Um, these people that have been here on the planet uh, all the way through the ages were here through the uh, uh, the first and the end of the first two ages when. Uh, there was volcanic action, you know, a lot of serious issues, uh, a lot of fire. And the third one was uh, uh, the ice, and the fourth one was flood. But uh, uh, these people, because they live underground, even though the crust moves in a lot of situations, the continents themselves move. It's the plates that move. The land masses don't just all break up, although parts of them do. Um, the technologies they have are incredible. Uh, so it's easy for them to take care of themselves. A lot of people might not think so, but uh, heck, you can go back into Hopi law, uh, lore, excuse me, yellow worry, uh, about the ant people. And I remember this, where the people literally were brought together to a certain area and the Nantids took them down into the earth. So, that happened with the end of the first and the end of the second age. So, uh, the earth was boiling over with lava and everything else. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a lot of the people came out. So anyway, uh, but trades opened up. That's why I wanted you to have the date. <sighs> Commerce for the people living in, in the earth. And the earth is not hollow. They have cities and stuff in there. So. Uh, I just came across that when I was... Uh, writing the third, uh, still into writing the third book. So anyway, uh, there's that, some, when I, as I write, um, I'm calm, relaxed, my energy flowing out everywhere. It's the field that I have accessed all kinds of information. Things are just coming together. Uh, I learned a little more about something than I knew before too. Uh, about the, the base energy focal point, uh, energy field focal point, uh, what we call the chakra, base chakra, about the unique energy that's inside there. Uh, we call it emotion, uh, that, that's where the emotions come from, but what it is, there's one singular uh, frequency that's located there. Yeah, the hip bone, and then a coccyx that comes down from the end of the spine, Right in that area, that's where the whole field is. And this one singular frequency that's found there can literally, it'll literally shoot through your uh, uh, core energy, through your whole body, your brain. Uh, 
when you have to make an instantaneous response to something. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the energy. That, that's where that energy comes from. That's what happens. It goes into the spirit core or the... People call it Kundalini. There's no such thing as Kundalini anymore because uh, we only have the one spirit and they're now going up and down. The one spirit going up and down through your body and it's you. So anyway, uh, uh, I'll, I'm explaining that in detail in the uh, book. But that's the nice thing about this book as I'm uh, writing it, the information's flowing. So it allows me to access more information than I've ever had access to while dealing with all the other stupid stuff I've had to on the other side. Anyway, uh, uh, I'll incorporate what I just found out about now into this uh, uh, third and last book, um, uh, the creation series. And uh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the um, uh, that ET video I've been talking about putting out for a while. I've almost finished getting it done. Uh, I had to. I don't know how to do a whole lot with videos. Um, Deanna found a way for me to. Uh, uh, Deanna found a way to um, uh, download a video that I can throw that I. I'm putting into better high def and then taking a picture of it off uh, uh, one of my uh, laptops. I've got good laptops. And uh, one of them is a video that I took at uh, Home Depot near the house where there was uh, actually a few ships and a huge cloud assembly that was lit up at night. It's lit up like a big pillow. With a lightning storm, with not lightning storm, but bursts of energy going on all over the place. A little bit of, uh, of it is crackling. And this is happening at night. There's no thunder, you, you know. It's, I just took it with my phone. So anyway, um, I want to tell you about the trade opening up now. And I wanted to get that out as soon as I found out about it. It hasn't been going on too long. They've been trying to get it established ever since they got... Um, the Epsons, the Drock, and Nantes, and some of the others got rid of the uh, problematic Anunnaki that were here on this planet. So, uh, I've mentioned before in videos, years ago, um, how many, I don't know, a year, two years, three years, um, that uh, Hawaii has Anunnaki out there that... Oh, not, not part of this clan, were not part of the previously existing clan system. Uh, they have their own group, like a family. You might want to call that a clan, but they're not part of the structure of the other Anunnaki here on the planet. You'll meet them pretty soon. Uh, it's about time. Then what do all your religions and governments say? when you finally have the truth of what's going on. So I'm going to lie about something. That's all they ever do, it seems. Of course, religions are a joke. Anyway, look, I just want to get that out to you now. Folks, love you, man. Have a good one. Oh, give me uh, hopefully just uh, maybe another three, four days, and I'll have that other ET video out <coughs> where I can show and explain everything happening in one video. There's a lot of videos that have, on the internet that have already caught action, you know, things happening. Uh, I didn't put anything on there from the uh, East City Ranch. I took other stuff. So the East City Ranch is easy for you to go over there and see what's happening. Um, the people over there are confused as far as what they think is really going on. But they're catching some live footage that's real. So, anyway, folks, love you, man. Have a good 
there was something uh, else I wanted to bring up that I forgot. Uh, for this is, it's good information for anyone, but it's mostly for those people that have cranked up already, and you're stronger. You can see and feel things. You have more source energy in you, so you're getting more tension. Of course, that happens with our uh, ET family and everything else. Families, whatever family, we're all family. But uh, I've explained in uh, different videos. And now there's something else I have to add to this third book. Damn it. Um, spirit replication. Oh, I know a chapter I can fit it in. <sighs> Excuse a private discussion with myself, right? Um, this book is crazy. It's literally taken on a life of its own. There's so much metaphysical or ET data in this thing, it's nuts. Anyway, um, there's uh, what I was just talking about is uh, how we replicate ourselves as spirit in a normal state. There's different ways to do it, two different ways, uh, with your spirit mate or releasing other parts of yourself. Well, there's a lot of little, uh, shall we say, children. It's not really giving birth or anything, but there's uh, a lot of young, new spirit. Uh, it's strong, but it's so small. It's uh, it's not able to do a whole lot. All spirit, when it's created has incredible intelligence as far as uh, an operating system like a computer, okay? It can uh, make incredible deduction uh, um, deductions of uh, uh, how things are and should be as far as uh, uh, something relative position of planets, like mathematics, that type of, that type of stuff. But when it comes to uh, things involved in having a life, they're ignorant. That doesn't mean they're bad. doesn't mean they're stupid. They're ignorant. They're unaware. That's all that word means. Someone says, man, you're just ignorant. I say, well, you're about a few things, but you, know, you have no idea you're ignorant to anything, which makes you more ignorant than me. <laughs> so um, I've pissed a lot of people off, don't really care. Um, I never do that until they get stupid. Then they deserve what uh, they're putting out. It's also called karma. That's my gig. Anyway, um, uh, so these uh, these new spirit beings, a lot of most of them are awesome, wonderful, a lot of love, especially the ones that have a lot of pink in them. You know, which is compassion. Um, a lot of people think oh if something's pink and it's not masculine well I guess it's more feminine color uh, I think it's thought so on this planet why uh, because it has you know women are more contracted uh, uh, attracted to it because they have more uh, compassion for things as a rule and men are afraid to show it because it's a reptilian society I know some big strong bad dudes that have pink ores I guarantee you won't go up to them, give them a hard time. <laughs> anyway, um, so these new, wonderful, very incredibly awesome little beings, they don't understand having lives. Now, it was only the original first being male and female that ever ran a life, period. Until uh, uh, after uh, July 10th of 2012, when two-thirds of each of them was destroyed deleted um, and then in May of 2013 they were totally taken out so except for a little droplet out of the cloud somewhere but uh, they were done with 
So other stuff had to run lives. Nothing else has ever run a life. Until January uh, 10th of 2012, nothing has ever run a life. And it, it, it represented in Earth years, lives have been going on for over 2.8 quadrillion years. Long time. 2.857 quadrillion years. It's a number above trillion. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know that, knew that when I didn't. I don't care if you need to know something, look it up. Uh, I'm not making a direct comparison to him, but uh, Albert Einstein, awesome soul, soul energy. You know, People think because they're soul they can't do shit. They have no idea. That's one of the most incorrect statements you can make. Um, souls are so precious, so strong, so well defined. Um, anyway, um, uh, he, he was incredibly intelligent, as most all of us know. However, <coughs> it's not that he was never wrong. <coughs> Everyone is. It's called the learning process. So, um, the, uh, uh, man, I'm worn out. So anyway, uh, people would say, hey, Albert Einstein, you're so smart. What's your phone number? He had a hard time remembering his phone number. He says, I don't know. But you know what? I can find it real easily just by going to, the, um, to a phone book. I know how to arrive at the conclusion I need. Um, so you can say he was ignorant to what his phone number was, but he wasn't ignorant on how to handle it, on how to handle getting it. Um, there's only so much these little physical brains can handle. But the spirit on the other side, this new stuff, it's not that they can't learn how to understand something. They've never had the opportunity to. The original first being male and female ran everything. No one ever did any of that. And here's new new beings that, especially the the brand new ones that have never had even one life, they have nothing to go on. They're trying really hard to help, and lots of times they get in the way. They don't know what they're doing. They use the old way of doing things, which is a little abusive, and they're just trying to help. Um, so the reason why I brought, I had to put this little extension on the video is because a lot of you that are going through this, um, you can see and feel them around there being a little bit of a pest. Talk to them. Tell them they don't understand and to stop. Chances are 98 out of 100 that they won't. Just hit them with a blast of energy and carry the thought process real strong. Be serious about it. Say, leave me alone. And once you do that, it'll be taken care of through the field, okay? You'll feel, you can feel the difference, those of you that I'm, I'm talking to right now, you can feel the difference uh, between, you can feel their, their energy, their hard energy. You can feel if they're trying to help or if they're really being aggressive, nasty. Um, but the field will take care of it. Uh, I'll be home soon and then all that stuff's going to start stomping. Nine days after I've been free nine days of uh, um, the new laws will be settled down and all that stuff stupid stuff stops we're a real cool family uh, what was I going to say um, oh yeah um, one last thing too uh Those of you that have had consults with me, you know I just see, feel, and understand things that other people, you know, don't have that, the same access to that I have. Um, uh, with the field being part of me, it's I, it takes a little effort, but I can reach through it, and sometimes it flows very easily and normally. 
right now very much so um, to get information for you to give you clarity on things other people have tried to explain to you um, and I think they're awesome for working so hard to do so remember fighting through these bodies to get information is not easy um, so anyway uh, excuse me one second okay so um, what I'm saying about the field thing that's why it's easier for me to see some of this stuff you know that I was you know kind of made for this um, everyone has these basic abilities I'm just a little freaky um, but in order to do the job that I was created to do in the beginning before any lives were being had anywhere uh, uh, they may be like this anyway um, man, I have so many things flowing around in my head I, it's driving me nuts um, new stuff with the Anunnaki here other uh, players the Nordics that are around Greenland they're starting to come out they're getting ready to come out to the surface more and they're going to be staying right around there um, Iceland there's a lot of folks in there that are from uh, other planets but anyway I'm trying to get back um, uh, it's it's the basically the Nordic races uh, those in Iceland are a little different than those from Greenland um, they're not quite as tall anyway uh, trying to get back on track it's hard for me to let go of stuff anyway um, <clears throat> just being able to get some clarity and stuff on the other side you'll be able to feel it in your heart and just tell them to buzz off tell them to stop they'll, they'll be a nuisance but when I get home it all stops okay so it's uh, and let's just say in a few months it won't be violent viable anymore it won't be an issue um, it won't take that long at all so anyway um, I want to get that out there everything's gonna fall into place there just needs to be a new mandate on the other side for others to follow they, these other little beings they've never there's never been anyone allowed to do anything and all they want to do is help they don't they were paying the butt, but feel their heart energy first and try to understand they don't mean anything other than trying to help and they don't know how. I got to deal with these things all day long. So just hit them with some energy, just a hard hit of energy, just smack a wham, send it to them and say, hey, buzz off, leave me alone. And then they won't hit them a second time. Either that or just literally relax and talk to the field. Just say, hey, get them away from me. And the uh, field part of me, take them away. All right, folks, let me leave you alone. Um, uh, there's all kinds of good stuff about to happen. We're so close, finally. Folks, love you, man. Have a good one.